Hey everybody, Dan here from SurePT. Hey, it's been a while since I posted anything. Part of the reason for that is I've been doing some hunting this fall and had some family stuff going on. And I thought maybe I'd share some of these hunting experiences that I had. Nice buck, probably two and a half, eight and a half years old. Not quite as large as what we'd like to shoot within our hunting party. You notice that uh, basically it's like a 55 gallon drum. It's not quite 55 gallon drum with some of it cut off. And we put that out there this year for the first time and put some water in it and the animals absolutely love it. Uh, squirrels, everything goes in there. Pretty nifty. There's always a stump that used to exist that had like a hollow spot in it. Water used to collect in there and I remember that when I was a kid and all the animals would drink out of that. Looks pretty cool. Saw a lot of different bucks walking around. I didn't videotape everything because sometimes there just wasn't the opportunity. And this was my first time videotaping out of the tree. Definitely learned a lot of different things. Difficult to see early in the morning. Very difficult. This doe was interesting. Uh, came out of that corn and just kept looking behind it the whole time. It Something was chasing it. You could hear some stuff out in the corn, but it, nothing ever appeared. So I'm guessing a buck was messing with her. But I never, never saw him on this particular morning. Saw plenty of other ones, but not the one that was chasing this one. <laughs> Got a cool word, just flap the rears. Deer were running around just everywhere. Again, this was during the rut. And all of a sudden, it's just complete quiet, and then here they just come a running through. Could not see if a buck was chasing those or not. Another small year and a half old buck there. Right up in the center middle there, he's just walking through. I was up about 30 feet up in the tree. Uh, the wind was fairly quiet most of the time when I was there. And honestly, they did not really seem to be affected, but again, this was during the rut. I also wear an eye womb, which is like a giant sleeping bag. And I truly believe that really keeps a lot of scent in. The part about bow hunting that is so nice is the deer are just so relaxed. As long as you're not moving quickly and you're not making noise, they walk around all the time. The bucks were doing a lot of just cruising, trying to check out some hot toes, I'm sure. I spent one entire day in the tree. I love how this thing goes underneath this thing. So that, that tree just blew over uh, earlier in the spring Watch this, this doe actually kind of like rubs its back as it goes underneath. This is the buck that I should have shot. I hope you can see that it's right in the middle. The antlers are sticking way the hell up in the air. 
I was videotaping that deer for 15 minutes and I didn't push the record button. Absolutely stupid. And I was struggling so much of it to try to get some of it on film, I didn't even realize what was going on. And then all of a sudden it was over here in this brush. And I just did not have a good shot. Hope it maybe come back again and it did good shot. So that was a big mistake. And that is a huge animal. A lot of little bucks running around. Little fork. The quality of this uh, shot is just so much better. This is using a Sony Handycam, which was something that I should have been using the whole time of the cameras that I have, that one definitely does the best. Now I've just got to try to find some type of support that goes off the tree, some type of, uh, I don't know, holder. If you happen to know of any, you throw some comment out there and let me know what you're using, I would appreciate it. Very, very dry summer here this year. We had been filling up those tanks on a regular basis. You'll see the setup we have for that a little bit later in the video. To me, one of the most relaxing things in there is in the world is to sit out in the woods and just have animals like this and not even know of any idea that you're there. Incredible. You notice those logs that are inside of there. The reason those are there is so if an animal would happen to go in there, they can climb back out again and they wouldn't, you know, drowned in there and then stink up the whole darn thing. Another nice buck going through. Poor camera work, but a nice buck going through. Again, a tree mount. Let me know what tree mounts you use. There's the water setup that we use to fill up that uh, tub. Looks pretty slick. There was deer running around right at first light like here before it was dark. They were pretty much everywhere. See me up there in the right hand corner. Kind of in the middle of the picture there. A little bit more on the right hand side between those two trees is where that buck's coming down. I heard him a very long ways away. Kind of hard to see here, but a small little eight pointer, probably a two and a half year old deer. And as soon as he got to that point right there, he plopped right into the corn and I never even saw him again. This is the most incredible part of the entire experience. 
absolutely nuts kind of hard to see that but up in the upper left hand corner there there's some small wiggling that's a very large buck <coughs> that is laying there and he is right next to the doe um, which is in the lower section so he's right in the middle right there And the doe is laying right in the middle of the camera right now, and he's standing up right now behind that tree. I was videotaping this with my phone. It was extremely difficult. There he is. There's that buck. He was by my tree stand for an hour. There is another buck way in the back, probably another 75 yards, laying down, waiting for him to leave. Again, that, that's a very nice deer. So he was laying right next to that, that doe, who was obviously was in heat. The challenge was, is it was very difficult to see him because his head was always behind that tree that was right there. And with me videotaping, trying to get ready for the bow, there you can see his antlers. He's a nice deer. And that doe was laying right below him, right on the bottom. So eventually what ends up happening is, is that buck lays down probably 10 feet by that doe right behind that tree. And again, there's a buck that's way in the back. And two bucks came right underneath me to go over there and challenge that buck that was right there. And, and it was just crazy, absolutely crazy. I got a shot at that buck and I never found any blood whatsoever after that happened. By the way, I searched for him for probably about six hours. Right after I shot at him, he ran down the hill and those two other bucks that were underneath me came over and started chasing that doe that again is right there at the bottom. I wish I would have had another person there to try to film this, but this was the most intense situation that I've seen probably in all the years that I've been hunting. Again, that doe's right in the middle. And that buck is just at the top part of that screen. You can just barely see his antlers. mesmerizing. And right after I shot at that buck, this is what happened in the cornfield. Those two bucks are out there chasing that doe. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I am freaking out right now. I just saw the big bucket's been laying here for an hour. This is nuts. <laughs>